All right, so I guess... Geez. All right, I guess instead of... Uh, instead of declaring this book here, we need to share it with the open file because this open file needs to know, well, which book is opened so that we can get access to the Vim file. All right, so I'm just going to delete that and then just share that. in here. Now it's going to be a shared variable so that our uh, this method has some uh, has access to it. So what are we going to do? Well, vlib.getbookbyisbn got our file name um, And we have our open book. So book dot get vim by name. There we go. And the file name. There we go. Now we have our vim. And all we're gonna do is call our desktop in order to play this. How do we do that again? One second. And I know I'm not explaining anything or and I'm also rushing things. I really do apologize. I really want to get this over with. Right, all we need to do is call desktop dot get desktop dot open this file new file and we're going to give it the name file name what's wrong oh surround with the try and catch okay good now if I'm not mistaken we should should be able to go. Should we should be ready. Should be ready now. Oh, geez, it's giving me an exception. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I jumped the gun a little too fast. Let's go back to our open file method. I created a file. And this time we're actually going to use, yeah, the, the, the file, we were getting that exception because the file didn't exist yet. We were giving a file name, but that file didn't exist yet. So what we need to do is we need to create that file, which we do here. Which file, what, what's the name of the file? Well, the file name. Then we're going to pass this file into the uh, file output stream. So we're going to write actually write this file so this actual music music file or or image file or video file is gonna be written so I mean here we just create an output stream to this file and we're gonna write this data remember our vim has a name and a byte array and we're just going to write this byte array. This file output stream is going to write this byte array in the file that you gave it with the file name that we gave it. So the actual video music image file is going to be written. Then we just close the uh, file output stream so that so that our desktop can uh, get access to it. Because I don't think because this is this is writing, and file output stream is writing. To uh, to this file, and what desktop is going to do is read from that file. And again, it's not a good idea to read and write at the same time. That's why we're going to close it before we open the file. And let's uh, let's take this for a test run. Let's start a new library. I'm pretty confident that we're pretty much we're done. I'm pretty confident that we're done now. And no, it's all good. It's all good so far empty everything is empty everything is good there you go and again I'm not gonna you guys can do these delete buttons by yourself it's really easy trust me it's a little exercise for you guys those okay one 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 add oops browse let's add a video file
this one right here. Let's add another file. Um, this time, let's add a music file. here open it up there it is I'm not gonna click on this yet let me try adding in another one for good measure this time let's add in oh sure why not another music file oh we haven't added it yet Let's add in a, a PNG. <clears throat> um. Oh, geez. Whatever. Now let's try uh, opening this up. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, what about this one? Okay. Let's try uh, these work. Yep, they do. Oh, what about this one? Oh, what's this? Hey, if you guys haven't seen this yet, this is the little, the project that I'm working on. Anyways. Okay, let's save and quit. Let's save and quit. Or just save, uh, uh, whatever, final. Good? We're good. Uh, let's save and quit. Final. Yeah, sure, overwrite it. Okay. Now, it's saved it here. And again, you should see those, uh, those things that we open, see? We actually wrote it. We actually wrote the files when we read it. Because in order to open the file, well, the file's got to be there. So again, this final.ser contains all the files in the form of a byte array, in the form of bytes in a byte array. That's why it contains these many, this many bytes so much. Now let's actually try opening it up. This time on another directory. So I'm going to make a copy of my final.ser. I'm going to put it in my desktop. Okay. And I'm going to open it from my desktop. Again, let's uh, run our application. Let's load to save library. Go to my desktop. There it is. Final.ser. Open it up. List all the books, all there. Browse. Open it up. Oops, open it. It's all good. Try another, another one, just for good measure. There we go here again nothing there nothing there oh there it is let's try uh, what about oh sort it out about this one nothing there oh this so all, all of it works so we're good and I gotta go and I'm sorry if I was messy this time this uh, past five my last uh I don't know, my last 10 videos, I know I've been messy. I've just been rushing things. Okay, uh, you guys peace out, and I'm going to work on my, uh, my game that I'm going to sell on the Android market. All right, peace out, peace out.